Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Bitcoin Core Wallet on a Windows 10 PC. So we'll begin at our desktop like we usually do and we'll open up our browser. And inside Google, we're going to type in Bitcoin Core Wallet. So when we search in here, we want to make sure that we're going to Bitcoin.org's website. That is the official URL for Bitcoin. So we want to make sure that we are going to the right site. And I'm going to scroll down a bit here just to get to the direct one. I'll scroll down a bit here just to get to the direct link for the desktop version, which is this one. We'll click on it here. And I'm going to copy and paste this in the description so you can just jump right to this address and download the wallet. Now in here, it just gives you a brief description of the core wallet and its features. Uh, one thing to note that this is a full node, so you'll have the full copy of the blockchain on your computer. So if you scroll down a bit here, you'll notice that there's more options available for different operating systems like Linux and Macs. We're going to be using the Windows version, so we'll click on the install button and scroll down a little bit further. And what we're going to download is the Windows executable file, uh, which is over here on the left hand side. So we'll just click on that and it's going to download to our computer. It's a little over 17 megs. It shouldn't take too long to download, but I'll skip to the end. OK, so then now that the download is complete, we can go ahead and open it up. And what I'll do is I'll just minimize our browser so you can see it properly. If you get this user control, you can just say yes to the prompt. So we're presented with the wizard and on the first screen, we can click on next. We're going to leave the destination folder as default and click on next. And the name we're going to leave as default and click on install. Now, if you want to change the destination folder to something else or keep it in a place where you keep your other core wallets, you can go ahead and do that. So once this install is completed, you can click on next. We're going to check this run core wallet option and click on finish. So it's automatically going to launch the core wallet. So in here, we're going to be using the default directory, like I'd mentioned, but if you want to change it, you can select the second option here and uh, change the path. It lets you know that it needs at least seven gigs of space and it's to going to discard any extra blocks when completed. So you can click on okay when you're done here. And now it's requesting access to the firewall. This is normal. You can say allow access. Um, it needs access to the Windows firewall there. So here we are at the main core wallet. You can see that it has 12 years and 27 weeks behind. It needs to catch up and download all the backed up data. So what we can do is just click on the hide button here and we're presented with an option to create a new wallet. So we can just quickly click on create a new wallet button right there and we can give it a name You can give it any name you want just to identify this wallet. I'm just going to call it my Bitcoin and I want to encrypt it. So I'm going to select this option and we also have some other advanced options below. If you want to select those, that's fine. You can go ahead and do so. Once complete, you can click on create and then it's going to ask for a passphrase. So the passphrase should be at least eight characters or more. Alpha numeric, uh, add some other characters in there. That'd be great to make sure it's nice and secure. This is going to be your only line of defense, so you don't want to lose it. So you have to enter it in twice here and when complete, you can click on OK. And like I had mentioned, uh, it's letting you know that if you lose this passphrase, you'll lose all your Bitcoins. So keep this in a secure location, uh, write it down and keep it somewhere where you can easily retrieve. Once again, it's just letting you know that it's going to be encrypted right now. Um, and this process doesn't really take any time. It's just giving you a quick warning here. You can click on OK. So now the wallet has been created and we have no Bitcoins. So you can see that the balance and pending amounts and everything else is at zero. Uh, so that is normal for a brand new wallet. And we're just going to pretend like maybe we have some and we want to send it. So we'll click on the send button up here at the top. And at the very first field, you can put in the Bitcoin address of the person you want to send coins to. So you put it in there and you can give it a label. And then below, you can enter in the amount of Bitcoin that you want to send. And then over here, we have an address book. So you can just create a new address and save the addresses. So it's just so it's easier for you to retrieve and send it to the same people if you're doing transactions over and over again. So next is receive. So now if you're gonna receive some Bitcoin, you can do the same thing by giving it a label and call it whatever you want. And then below that, you have the option to enter an amount and a message for the person that you wanna send it to. And then we can click on this button over here and what it gives you is a QR code, which you can give to another user where they can take a picture with their phone. It also has the URI at the bottom, the URI address and your wallet address, and you can copy and paste these and send them to users in a message, in an email or messenger or whatever you wanna send it. 
So you click on OK and it closes out of that window. And the last button over here is Transactions. Transactions will just show a whole history of your send and receive transactions uh, and the amounts. You can also search for them up at the top. You can export the transactions as well. So I'm just back over here at the overview and say you want to have multiple wallets or you want to create a new wallet. All you have to do is create a new wallet is click on the file menu and then you have the option right here to create a new wallet. You can have multiple wallets open and you can just switch back and forth as well and then close them. Um, and a couple other features in here under window, you have the option to check out network traffic. And this gives you a little bit of a diagram of what's happening and how much uh, data is being used on your network. Uh, it also allows you to know that your the peers that you're connected to. Uh, console allows you to enter in some commands here. And the last, first tab is information about the node in the blockchain itself. And that's a quick overview of the Bitcoin Core Wallet on a Windows 10 PC. We've installed it. I've showed you how to send and receive it and just gave you just a brief overview of what the wallet can do. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.